Hello. <laughs> Hello, gang. What are you saying? Um, yeah, don't know what to say, really. Made this garage track. Uh, made a new Ableton 11 course. Uh, I stuck it up as a free download. And uh, I expected it to get about 100 students. And I went to bed and then I woke up and it was at about 5k. And I was like, oh my God, what's gone viral? And then over the span of the three days, it's got about 7,000 students in it. And prior to this, I'd only had 2,000 students. And I started doing this in June. So I've tried to help as many of you guys as possible. Started a YouTube channel to kind of give you guys some more content. I know we all, we all love our content. And um, the course did about 7,000 students in three days all for free I just gave it away for free so that's like it's supposed to be a 200 pound course so that's over a million pound of value one million and twenty two thousand pound of value or something I've just given away uh, for free which is awesome like I mean if that's if, if you calculate the value like that but um, yeah I just wanted to say thank you guys if you got in on that congratulations to you it's a 70 lecture course uh, about seven hours long it's nice and refined so I don't go, I go into things in great detail and kind of complex, but I've kind of gotten a bit better with teaching so I can uh, explain ideas a bit better and like you guys can, you know, enjoy that to its full extent. And um, yeah, I'm just super happy that you guys all enrolled and yeah, it took me about a month to film, just over a month of straight recording. And I got about halfway, I was like, there's no way I'm going to finish this. But persevered, finished it. I was like, we'll see how it does. You know, if it gets 100 students, I'll be happy. Uh, we've, Like I said, it's hit over 7,000. It's not even been out a week yet. It's uh, happening in about three days. It's come out, came out about three and a half, four days ago. I haven't slept today. Uh, I don't know, I can't sleep. It's about, what's the time? 5 p.m. So yeah, yeah, I've rolled through, I've hit the gym. Standard procedure, things are going back to normal. And, uh, oh, God. What day is it? It's uh, when, Tuesday. So yeah, I've got my meds. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll give you guys a quick playthrough of this garage track just so there's something that you can look at and listen to. And um, yeah, I'll include a link for the course in the description uh probably be discounted for you lot because you're subscribers uh, and i love you guys <laughs> i love you so much uh yeah cool and um if you've got the course for free and you want to donate like a quid or like a pound like less than a mcdonald's cheeseburger like i'd really appreciate that if seven thousand people donate a quid i could get a new camera and film i've got a few few ideas i want to film and i could do like vlogging and stuff so that really helped me and I just kind of reinvested into making greater content for you guys. But yeah, I'll give you a little clip of this track we made the other day um, in a lesson. Yeah, pretty good. It's quite, quite a lot of reverb um, in this track. Just uh, I thought that'd be interesting. It fills up the space and stuff. There's a nice little sub layer here, which you won't be able to hear if you haven't got your monitors plugged in. Can't imagine what I sound like through the monitors. Pretty good, I must imagine. And this is a few little background effects. I made a bass line using Serum as a, as a, for a change. There's some nice distortion um, automations. If we zoom in, just little ones. Pretty cool. That's what the bass line sounds like, you guys. And if we go like this and go show automated parameters only, you'll see that all the little automations I've done just quickly. Because I can save you some time, just a few little things. Yeah. So, yeah, just a little preview of the track. It's not fully mixed, but um, I've got a version of that fully mixed. The master, of course. Sounds alright. Quite 
busy sonically. Um, there's a vinyl uh, distortion on the master, just to give it like a little old school crackle kind of feel. And then if we chuck the span on the master, we would be able to see. So there's a free plug-in by Voxengo, and we'll be able to see. But the frequency spectrum is a bit, a bit better. I recommend this to you guys. I'll include it in the description for you to download. Really good plugin. Test free plugin. Nice and full frequency spectrum. It's clipping a bit, so what we could do is we could just turn the master down. I normally have it at like minus 6 dB just to keep it from clipping. So it's a little cheeky trick. But like I said, this is the unmixed copy. So yeah, I'll include a link for Span. And thank you guys for all the good news. Oh yeah, we also won um, SME Enterprise of the Year Awards. We got nominated for Best DJ in Music Production School. We came first place, so I'll be taking that reward and award um, and the trophy. So yeah, thank you guys for everyone who voted. I've also included a little form um, that you guys like a Google form that you can sign in, uh, sign on, uh, sign like, and uh, you can submit ideas. So if there's a certain tutorial that you want to see, like Christoph or Fisher or Stussy or, or Chris Stussy or, or whatever, you can just submit that in a form or you can even comment it below. And I'll be sure to do it for you guys. More than happy to do that and kind of get a bit more of like a community going on between us, the, uh, the Music Workflow Academy dudes. <laughs> And I'll include a link for our um, Facebook group, our official Facebook group in the description. But yeah, thank you guys so much for listening and I'll speak to you in the next one. Peace.